and I probably don't have to tell you the Caring and Sharing Exchange do so many great things in our community, including the Sharing and Student Success Program. We've got all the details you need right now with Cindy Smith of the Caring and Sharing Exchange. Hello, Cindy. Hi, thanks for having me today. Wonderful to have you here. I know Rogers uh, took part in this initiative, um, and it is an incredible one. But first, can you tell me uh, history, a little bit of a history lesson? Uh, on your great organization? Sure, so our organization is over 103 years old. Um, our biggest program is the Christmas Exchange Program, and uh, most recently, uh, our Sharing and Student Success Program began in 2011, and through this program, we help uh, children from families in need to go back to school with everything they need wow. to, uh, to be ready for the classroom. So how many families, how many students would you say, uh, I guess you probably don't have an exact number, that you've helped over the years? Oh, I would say over 10,000 at this point, yeah, 10, and growing steadily every year. So that is one of the issues though, right, because it is growing? It is, okay. yeah, so it's kind of hard to keep up with that. How much has it grown? So just this past year, we've seen a 38% increase in the need, which is, represents almost 1,000 more students than last year. So, uh, so huge growth and, uh, you know, thanks to partners like Rogers and others in the community, hopefully we can uh, help everybody on our mm -hmm. list this year. 38% increase uh, means a lot of supplies need to be bought. Yes. Um, now, now, why are school supplies so important to students? I mean, to start the first day of school, you kind of you want to be on an equal playing field with your with your peers. So you want to have everything that everybody else has. But it also helps with self esteem, and you know, obviously, being ready to learn is is important going back to school. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you know it's very important for the kids to feel like uh, they're ready. Yeah, it's yeah. good. And I remember remember too going back to elementary school, high school having the right tools like brand yes. new stuff yeah. the erasers that still smelt great yes made you feel good right that's right okay so um something happened august 21st yeah i believe we're actually seeing some footage of some stuff that was that's been going on here what happened august 21st something very important so august 21st we did our backpack stuffing day we packed over 3,000 backpacks uh that were distributed to students in ottawa still have a bit of a waiting list we have about mm -hmm. 150 children we're still trying to help so as dollars come in we're quickly trying to put together bags to uh to give to the students okay so so there is still a wait list there is still a wait list unfortunately so even yeah. though that you can see all these uh, hard-working volunteers packing backpacks yes. uh, the need is still there. The need is still there. So, so what should people do then? Um, we're, we'd love to have gifts of, of donations. What we can do is we can uh, kind of triple the value of donations through our retail partners in bulk buying. Um, and they can visit our website, caringandsharing.ca, to okay. help us out. Okay. I know we saw some of the amazing uh, items in that video, but to just run us through an average backpack and perhaps, so tell us what age range as well each backpack would go to. Okay, so we have everywhere, anywhere from kindergarten to junior to senior. Mm -hmm. And they all have different contact, contents depending on the age. Obviously, you know, if, if you're a kinder, you would get like crayons and mm -hmm. erasers and scissors and all those fun things. Um, whereas a senior, would you would also need like a calculator, a geometry set, loose leaf paper, binders, all those things uh, that you need for that grade level. Okay, and what about the backpacks? Where do the backpacks come from? We purchase them yeah. from our from our suppliers, okay. yes. Okay, so that's where the dollars, the donations, cash donations really help out. That's right, we do have some people that, uh, that prefer to donate items, our school supply items, and they can do that at some of the local Ottawa libraries as well. Okay, so can you tell me where or how you figure out which backpack goes to which school, which student? <laughs> is that a difficult task? Uh, it is, because we, we try to segment them based on grade level, like some of them are very small. Um, and then also um, based on if we can, like, you know, if there's a little pink princess one, we try to give it to like a kinder kindergarten girl. So we label the backpacks before their stuff so we know kind of what gender and what grade they're going into. Okay. So, so what does this campaign wrap up? Because I'm assuming that the, a campaign like this could go on all year round. Yeah. I mean, we do take donations for it all year round. Um, this particular program wraps up on the 30th of September just because we have to start campaigning for our Christmas program. Mm -hmm. We're kind of back to back on our programs. But uh, yeah, we keep going till then and certainly until we help everybody on our list. Okay, so, so is that the ultimate goal then, to help everybody on the list? Absolutely, we don't want any child left behind. Is there still room on the list? Meaning, can, can people who are watching this perhaps right now get on, the, get on this list? Unfortunately, we closed down our list and we do have quite a significant waiting list. Yeah. So unfortunately, yeah, I guess we're you kind have of done for the year. Yes, point. yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, tell us then, you said the, uh, the Christmas exchange is also coming up as well? Yes, it is. Okay, so, so what does that revolve around? <laughs> so that revolves um, around food. So we're helping individuals and families in Ottawa um, have a whole Christmas dinner where otherwise it wouldn't be possible. And that's a, a large program. We help about close to 20,000 people through that program every mm. year. Okay, so when does that start up? Um, we start actually campaigning for that the end of September. 
and um, obviously we look to to help everybody by Christmas. So my gosh, you will have know, back to so back. much <laughs> going on. Can I ask how many volunteers helped out with this particular program? I would say in I would say almost a hundred for yeah. this particular program. Yes, mm -hmm. that seems to be a lot of people. Just it's on a board. lot of people and, yeah. and great people, and we're very fortunate to yeah. have them. Are you yeah. always looking forward to people just jumping on board and being a part of what you're doing? We are. We are, and and again, people can visit our website and look at our volunteer opportunities at any time. It's the best place to go to. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you still have some more backpacks to stuff, I'm guessing. We do. Yeah. So you're taking uh, donations, cash donations, and uh, so much more. CaringAndSharing.ca is the website to go to. That's the one for all of this. Cindy Smith, we appreciate this because, as I mentioned, Rogers was a big part of uh, packing all kinds of backpacks and getting the supplies together, and we're on board with what, what you do. So, well, thank you for thank having you. me here today. Anytime. Thank you very much. Thanks. More daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.